Hey everybody, it's Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today to peek in on our neglect experiment to um, see how these worms are migrating now that they are done being neglected and we've finally given them food. This is our European night crawlers and I have my blue worms over here to my right. Um, so I wanted to peel this back, show you guys the finished compost is still looking quite nice. It's uh, drying out, curing well for us. It's a hair, a hair dry. I need to moisten down this cover I have on it. Um, but what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna move my lamp so that we can see a bit better what we're doing. And um, I'm gonna peel this back and see how that food is going because last week they were already working into it quite well. And uh, I wanna see if they're continuing, if they need more food, if they need more bedding all of that good stuff. So I'm just gonna pull all of this dry stuff up and over to the side. Cause we know we fed inside this kind of pouch pocket up front. And right away, as soon as I open and peel this up, there are worms all over everything. So that's, oh, my lamp's gonna fall on me. That's fantastic. All right, so. Oh my gosh, we got a worm ball down here, guys. Check that out. Worms of all sizes looking super healthy. It looks like some of them are starting to gain their size. Um, not significantly, but I definitely see that they're getting a little bit bigger, which is what my hope was for sure. They still look a lot like reds right now. They haven't completely gotten back to size, but there's definitely a good number of them that are, are growing for us. So they're all the way down to the bottom just all throughout here. Uh, let's go over to this side as well and see what we have. It's all gonna fall back over on me, but I'm just gonna reach down in here, see what we got and pull it up front. Just loaded. So they're definitely migrating over to the food because you can just see how many castings even are in here already. And I'm actually feeling in the bottom that there's even more. I can feel the, the ball of worms. I'm just gonna slide this over. See if I can get some of these guys out of here so we can look at them some more. Here we go. I mean, they're just absolutely all throughout here and it does look like they've pretty much gone through all of the food that I had given them. So last week there was still a significant amount of food left um, but it didn't take them long to finish it up and it's just looking looking excellent. I'm really really happy. Um, they look much healthier. I don't think that neglecting them is harmful per se but they definitely don't thrive and they're definitely not as healthy. I mean, we have to be honest, they're, they're not being fed, they're not going to be as healthy. So, as a worm nerd, you can't ask for anything better than this. So I'll definitely give them a little something today, but um, they are making good work and there is a little bit of food left, but they can definitely handle a bit more for sure, especially in the numbers that I'm seeing here. So let me clean my gloves off and we will um, take a look over at the blue worms and see how they're getting along. Okay, and here's our blue worms. I'm gonna do the same thing, just pull off some of this dry stuff and move it to the back here. I'm trying my best not to get the fresh stuff mixed in with our old castings. However, I'm gonna sift it anyway. So anything that's whole that gets mixed back in is really not an issue because it'll just get sifted out. So 
I'm gonna lift this up and see how they're doing on their feeding. Because last week they were in droves as well, so I would expect the same. A lot, a lot of castings in here. I mean, even in this, this new area, it's already loaded. So here's our daily dose, guys. And this is those telltale signs of blue worms. You just see how fast they move when they're in the ball. They just, they're very, very fast moving worms. So they're usually pretty easy to tell apart from any other worm, just simply by how quickly that they move. Um, but it looks like they've also worked through, there we go, just about everything we fed them. There was some citrus in here because I can smell it. It smells very nice. Lemon fresh. It's a pot worm. They like coffee grounds, and I do believe we had put some coffee in here, but pot worms are really not an issue. I always do my best to point out little worm bin pests and things like that so that you guys realize that um, they're not dangerous. There's a cocoon right by my finger right there, that kind of orangish red color. And then let's go down in this last corner all the way down here and see what we have, if there's any other food down here. It doesn't look like there's much more over here, but I definitely think these guys need some food. So I'm going to try to create some sort of space where we can still bury everything up pretty well in both of these bins. We'll give them some food and bury thing, everything else back up. Uh, probably start to harvest the back next week. That way we can kind of expand our feeding zone a little bit more. Um, but I, I couldn't be more thrilled with how this is going. This is probably my best migration harvest that I've ever attempted. So couldn't be more happy with that. So let's get a little food together for them, feed them up, and we'll call it a day. Okay, so this is the um, blue worms. I added a little bit of dry bedding in the middle here. That's just a healthy sprinkling of some eggshell. I have a lovely mixture of some scraps that were sitting on my counter um, thawing and they actually have been thawing for a few days, so there's some mold as well. But um, mold is definitely not a bad thing. Worms feed off of mold and bacteria. They do not actually eat the physical food that we give them. So it's always good to remember that um, if your food is moldy, if your coffee grounds are moldy, it's completely not a problem at all. It's just going to be more quickly and readily available for your worms to eat. So I would not worry about that one bit. So I'm just trying to make sure we're going to give even amounts to both of these bins. But um, that's a very, very healthy feeding, but they're obviously quite capable of handling it. We can always skip another feeding next week if we need to, but there's a lot of worms in here. So I think they're going to do just fine with this. So I'm just going to cover this back up with some of the existing castings and all of these worms that are in here. Probably just lay this newspaper across the top as well and then I'll cover it back up with the um, loose dry newspaper we have up there. So we'll quickly feed the European bin as well and then we'll call it a day. All right so same deal over here. I put some dry bedding, some eggshell. I'm gonna dump the rest of this food in here. Spread it out just a little bit cover it back up with our worms and castings so that they can get to work on it. I will lay out again these larger pieces of newspaper across the top and then cover everything with our loose shredded newspaper. So that's going to be it for today. Um, definitely think this may be two weeks worth of food, but they could prove us wrong. Hard to tell just yet. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Let me know what you think. Drop those comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. 
How do you think they're doing? 103 days later, now we're two weeks into feeding them. Are you impressed? Are you surprised? What are your thoughts? I'd love to hear from you and I hope you have a great day.